What's going on guys, we're back once again, and today I'm bringing you part 3 of the Star Wars story that I have created, and I hope you guys are enjoying it thus far, I mean, I I really love getting into this franchise, really uh, making my own character, of course, with just my love for Star Wars has just made me really dive in more to writing, and being able to bring a character to life is just very dear to me, and being able to create something and, and put my own spin on to this magnificent franchise that I know there's so many other than what I do that can do better than I can and write, create better than I can. But I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this. It's really fun to do and I hope you guys enjoy part three. So right where we leave off, we do see where Caleb is now showing uh, Helena as well as Illyria that uh, he is a Jedi as well as been in hiding ever since Order 66 happened. And other than, of course, being a bounty hunter. And then, of course, now that his boss, Gerard, is dead after the Empire invaded the planet that he was uh, living on now with his family, he's now they're now on the run in an escape ship. So this is where we leave off. I think I owe you both an explanation, Gil states. Yeah, you kind of do, both as Helena as well as Larry states. Well, it's kind of a story, so once again, get comfortable, we're going to be sitting here for a while. So while the ship is descending into hyperspace, we do see where Gail does say, well, I guess it goes back right to when the Clone Wars began. When the Clone Wars began, I was very young. And I was still a Powder One learner under my master of shock tea. You guys don't remember the if you do not remember the stages you had Powder One, Knight, and you had Master. When the Clone Wars started I was still a Powder One learner. But then at the same time, right but by the close to the three fourths when the war was still going on, I was able to go through the trials and become a Jedi Knight. While being sent on to other missions Right when Clone Wars was about ready to end, I had word that my master was killed by General Grievous. When that happened, it felt like I was beyond in pain. I tried to avenge my master, try to go on every single mission I could to go after Grievous, and when I did, either he evaded me or the console would not allow me to do it because I was too close to the matter. Then once I heard that Master Obi-Wan Kenobi was able to go after him and supposedly kill him, that's when everything changed. When I was on a mission, my I was not around no clones because my entire encampment were wiped out by the droids. And when it looked like I was about ready to die, that's when more showed up and actually was killing droids. And then they were going to try to kill me, so I was able to escape. Once that happened, after I was killing through soldiers I had fought with for years made me seem like I was killing my own brothers. Then I had to put away whatever thinking I had as a Jedi and thought of more as a survivor rather than a Jedi Knight. But still thinking as a Jedi, I went through many plans trying to find ways to make money as well as be able to hide from knowing that the Jedi Order came practically to an extermination. I heard rumors of others being alive but also being hunted by a Sith Lord by the name of Vader. He just came out of nowhere. I'm guessing he was a apprentice to the Dark Lord of the Sith. And these others that I'm seeing that seem to be Sith Lords as well, they're not. Apparently they're Inquisitors that Vader sends to kill Jedi. And apparently now they somehow come on my scent. I don't know how, because I have not used my powers in a very long time. I've cut myself off just so that way I would be able to make sure no one including y'all, would be harmed. Well, that doesn't explain how you became a bounty hunter. Well, give me a few minutes and I will get to that. Caleb states towards Illyria. When I was on the run, I came across Mandalore as well as Jakku on a couple missions I was able to do for some hiring pay. When word got out that I was doing bounties, that's when I came across some more bounty hunters that were from Mandalore and they recruited me and after a while they taught me their ways as well because they did not agree with what the Empire was doing on their home world. So I agreed to go with them to make money. We became a squad, we became a team, and that's how I made my living for a couple of years. Then on one mission things went bad. We were on Jakku 
and some traitors we were going to be training with, but then they double-crossed. Every one of us killed two of them, and then one was able to trade me. One made a suggestion if he traded me, would he be able to risk his, you know, be able to live. And that's exactly where Gerard found me. After all that time, they put me into slavery as a entertainer for Sanders, politicians, anyone to make sure that they would be able to spend their credits wisely. So, this is where I, that's where I was at, and this is where I am today. I have not used my powers ever since before I did today. And now that they now know another Jedi is alive, they're not going to stop until I'm dead. So now it's in wondering if I should stick with you any longer than I have been. I don't know exactly what else to tell you guys. Alaria as well as Helena look at one another. I'm not exactly sure what else to say either. While seeing a planet appear, here going, I guess we're here then. Descending on the onto the planet, and me and Senator Organa stating he will hide us here. And he has no love or he has no love to the Empire as well, but deals with them and visits sometimes. Gib shakes hands and says thank thank you for coming. Senator says, Welcome, Jedi. Gail looks at him down. He says, Don't worry. I've come across more and I've I've had a hide of you as well. In fact, he goes, Master Yoda is one of them. Gail appears. Master Yoda? He's alive? Who do you think helped hide him? He just Gail did not know what to think. Organa just smiled. He says, Don't worry. Last I heard, he says he's fine. But I have not seen him in years, so that's kind of I'm done. He says, I really don't know what to say other than I haven't seen him in a few years. Gib looks over, <clears throat> seeing a beautiful apartment palace, looking down. Don't worry, you're welcomed here. Walk into a huge apartment, looking at the place, seeing three rooms and a training room as well. Walk into a room. Gib looks around. This will do. Selling, settling down, going into Helena's room. Are you all right? No, my father is dead and we are hiding. And someone I didn't know and I care about is a Jedi. By how far do you think I'm okay with getting to the ranks of land states I, I don't know what to do I would have been a Jedi I would have been a Jedi master if my master didn't die and in order I didn't fall I would probably would have already still become a master and be teaching my own power ones if this did not happen how long does it take for you to learn Helena asks pretty much all the time you learn something every day Gibb states why I want you to train me <laughs> no I, I can't do that I know how to use a blaster, I know how to use a sword. You've been teaching me how to fight for the last few months, and I'm tired of running. I thought more I thought I would be here for a few days and then go on because the Empire would be following me, Gale states. I don't care. I want you to stay. We need you and I need you to train me. I need you to teach me the ways of the forest how you were taught. I need to think about this, Gale states. Helena grabbed Helena is able to grab Gale and state look. I was able to learn all the things you taught me quickly. I need you to teach me this so that way if you are not around, I can at least be able to protect myself and my mother. Please think about this and let me know. How many times have people gotten killed because of me or the thought of being a Jedi or a Force sensitive? What does that mean? Gail asked, I barely finished my, was able to finish my training as a pilot one before they put me into the order to be able to become a Jedi Knight to help alongside the war. So this will take a lot of time. You can't just learn it overnight. I, I'll be able to, if I train you, I'm going to have to teach you the way I was trained. She says, okay, let me think on this. Gail is able to walk away in a diner and be able to rock collect his slots. Through hours of meditation and cost training, more hours passed looking at the looking at the cars and buildings, hearing his master's voice saying the Jedi must live on. Looks up in the sky, I make sure the Jedi can survive by any way possible, Master Shakti, as I will be able to do this. I will honor your memory, Master, and I will continue the order in the way you saw fit. While getting up, going to Helena's room, knocks on the door, she gets up, staggering. It's late, Gilb, what? says, be ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow for what? You're training. You're going to train me? Yes. What made you change your mind? Let's just say I had a change of heart, and the order must keep on going, one way or another. 
there you go, guys. Part three of Star Wars, a survival story. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let me know your thoughts are about it in the comments down below. If you guys are new channels, consider subscribing. Leave down below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.